Hey guys, Barrett is here and welcome back to Thorncraft 3. So in the last episode we did our dungeon crawl and discovered these neat little top hats for our golems. Hey little guy. Ow! Ow! Okay, yep. That's so cool, little top hats. <sighs> okay, so in this episode I think we're just going to do some more regular research. So, oh, we got something with Aqua straight away. That's always good. Well, if it's got Aqua in it, I'll grab sugarcane. Oh wow, we're nearly out of sugarcane. Huh, I might have to go turn that farm on. Let's just get Aqua finished. There we go. Ooh, Axe of the Stream. This should be good. Uh, let's see, it's an axe, so it's got the tool aspect, which is in flint. Let's see if this works. Sure does, alright. Okay, 60% complete. It is time to test exactly how much magic thormium can absorb. You have discovered a way of infusing a thormium axe with the element of water. Alright, so we've got the axe part and we've got the water part. So what else can we do? Hmm. Axe of the stream. Maybe some seeds? Permutatio? No. What else can we try? It's an axe, so maybe... Let's just try throwing some sticks in there. For lignum. There we go, alright. Ah, and Motus is the last aspect. We got a lot of fences, let's get rid of them. There we go, so we just need Motus. Motus we've been getting from boats. So, oh, that reminds me. There was, uh, I've been getting a, a lot of comments on a couple of my other videos about uh, just lots of people saying to use trapdoors instead of boats. So, thought, while well, I think of it, I'll just lay out why I've been using boats. See, for six oak planks, I get two trapdoors. Each trapdoor is worth one motus. So, for six wood, I'm getting two motus. Whereas if I go with a boat, five wood, gets me a boat, and a boat contains four motors. So I'm actually getting more motors, twice as much motors for one less wood by building boats. So unless there's something different with the way the research works, but I assumed from the start that, uh, well, that the more motors there is, or the more of an aspect there is, the more you gain by researching it. So, like, I might have more trapdoors than boats to research, but boats are worth more, so I'll learn more by researching them. At least that's how I've sort of perceived it, anyway. That's how I interpreted how the research works. And I could be completely wrong. I haven't actually gone and looked it up on the wiki or anything to find out exactly what, but oh man, that was quick. Alright, Axe of the Stream. Let's learn that, grab our Thormanomicon. Right there. So, combining the element of water found with a Wand of Frost and a Thormium Axe, you have created the tool that embodies the aspects of motion and flow. It functions like a normal axe on all materials except natural logs and trees. When used, the axe seeks to, furthest, seeks to the furthest block of the same type that is still connected to the block you are attempting to harvest, and harvests that one instead. In effect, you will chop trees from the top down even if you hit the bottom most block. 
So in addition, all blocks harvested in this manner will automatically flow towards you to be collected. If you press and hold right click, the axe will harvest at a much faster speed, but at a greater cost to its durability. If shift is held while using this tool, all its special properties are suspended and it functions like a normal axe. Alright, so it's simply a Wand of Frost and a Thormium Axe. Oh, and 8 Lignum, 16 Aqua, 16 Instrumentum, and 8 Motors. Now we need to make one. And I am completely out of shards. Jeez, okay. I suppose I can't use this wand, can I? So I've been wondering if there's any way for me to repair wands in a um in an anvil. So can I use formia ingots? No. Can I use shards? No. Can I use a wand? No. It doesn't seem like there's any way to repair these. Which is a bit of a shame. Can I combine them? No. So, pretty much looks like I can't make a new... Oh, I can! Oh, that will work. Okay, we just need 16 instrumentum. Oh, well that got me. I thought I needed to have a brand new um, wand to be able to do that. So, uh, let's see, what we want? Did I put that in the wrong chest? Where'd all our instrumentum go? Oh, did we actually use that much of it? Oh well. Uh, we need 16, so... enough that sure was it's not going to keep any enchantments though so we won't use that axe we'll go grab uh, this one we got from one of our chests throw that one in there and axe of the stream all right let's go give this guy a try now this will be a good chance to try it on all of these big trees that I haven't bothered to cut down because they're just such a pain. So if we chop like normal... Oh! We got a block. Oh, here they come. So we can see them flowing down. And then if we right click... Whoa, that is fast! That's amazing. So let's try it. Just hold right click. And that's the whole tree. Oh, it looks like it took out part of this tree as well. Oh, that is cool. That makes chopping down these big oak trees a lot easier. Oh yeah, it looks like the same thing again, it's taking wood out of the other tree because they're connected. And grab this one. Done. That is fast. We just chopped down, what? Five? Four? Four large oak trees in a minute, if that. So let's try it on... Let's try it on one of these great wood trees. Let's try it on this one over here. Now I'm not sure what I did, but I could have sworn I chopped down this tree and the tree over there in the earlier episodes, and yet they were back after I updated to 147, I think it was. So, oh, it seems to be working. I think I must have must have done something when I updated, and that's why. Like the aura node I used to have over there disappeared and these trees came back, I think that's the reason. So are we getting these? Oh we are. And what's it doing to the tree? 
Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. And that's an entire great wood tree in a couple of seconds. Two stacks and 19 logs, just like that. That is amazing. Hmm. All right, well, that's the axe of the stream. Let's go do some more research. I'm definitely going to have to try and enchant that. I wonder if I can... No. That's a shame. It would have been nice to get those enchants on my axe of the stream. Guess I'll have to do it the long way. Anyway, let's try some more research. So nothing from paper. Let's try lignum because we've got a lot of lignum. Nope. Those saplings have nothing amazing. Ooh, let's try motus. There we go. Oops, I don't think I should be doing it like that. Oh well, more boats. Many more boats. Okay, put a boat in, research, put a boat in, research. Almost done. There we go. So this is the Arcane Bellows. Interesting. So will it have instrumentum? Oh, it does have instrumentum. Oh, we're getting lucky on these ones. 54%. So, experimentation has led you to discover some interesting facts about the element of air and how to harness it. You think you might be able to craft a bellows that can work by itself. Element of air. Now, I'm going to do something that I have forgotten to do many a time. We're going to go shear some grass because there's been a few of you that keep telling me in the comments. Yep, that tall grass has the or our, our air aspect in it. So this will be much easier than well, feathers. Because waiting for chickens to grow is a pain in the ass. Is a pain. Alright, over a stack of it, that should be plenty. Oh, while I think of it. Let's just run over here quickly. Just to make sure there's no... Yeah, there are a couple of great wood saplings. We don't want to let them go to waste. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's try our aura. And thanks for the tip, guys. That is much easier than feathers. Ah, Imperato, control. That's easy. Ugh, levers. Done. Awesome. Arcane bellows. Check out Thormanomicon. So it follows on from the Infernal Furnace, and it's stoking the flames. So, Alright, the Arcane Bellows performs much the same function as its mundane counterpart. The only difference is that it happily pumps away by itself, sending forth a stream of never-ending air. Attaching it to an Infernal Furnace has shown some interesting results. The elemental-infused air not only stokes the flames, increasing its smelting speed, but causing them to burn much purer, resulting in a reduction of flux generated and increasing the chance of creating bonus nuggets and other materials when smelting. 
They can also be attached to normal furnaces to increase their speed. It is also possible to attach them to crucibles to reduce the time it takes for their water to boil. You are confident more uses will reveal themselves eventually. Interesting. So this takes four arcane wood blocks, leather, an air shard, and an iron ingot, as well as 16 motors and 24 aura. Alright, and lucky me, we don't have any air shards. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go hunting for some air shards then. Actually, no, screw that. Screw that. I'm not going to bother doing that. Uh, we'll... Let's see, just let me get this stuff away. Like so. We've gone through our flint supply pretty heavily. Uh, we're just going to be a little bit cheeky. Just a little bit. Get an air shard. Just the one. And alright, so we need one iron. Uh, do we have any arcane wood blocks? We have three, so we're gonna need four, so we might as well just make a fresh lot of them. And a leather. Okay, let's give this a try. We'll get this wood out of here. So first of all, make some arcane wood blocks. Put them in there, which we need the wand. So an iron, a leather, and an air shard. So we need motors, which we don't have any boats left, do we? No. And what was it? Motus and aura. So we'll grab... It's 24 aura. Right. 24 aura and 16 motors. So we've got our aura. We need four boats. Like so. Alright, throw them in the crucible. There we go, an arcane bellows. So, does this just attach anywhere? Ah, it has to attach on those sides. Alright. Well, while we're being a little bit cheaty, Let's grab Arcane Bellows. Let's grab two more of them. Because we can't place them anywhere else. So we'll place one there and let's see. Yeah, one on the back. There we go. So, whoop. Seal the wall back up. Now, this should be running faster. Hopefully much faster. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to move that. Okay, we can move that. Easily enough. Uh, I'll just throw that... No. Uh, so that's the 167 linked one. We'll move this one over one as well. Like that. Put this one here. And we'll swap the signs over. Oh, that, that just went into the furnace, didn't it? <laughs> Oops. Okay. Not a problem, we have spares. Okay, put that on there, and that's the crucible portal. This one on here because it's the furnace portal. So let's see, what can we smelt to make, see if it's faster. Iron. And gold, seeing as we've got it. 
Let's chuck them in. Them in. So. Oh wow, that's definitely faster. And it looks like we're getting. Wow, we're getting a lot of nuggets too. We're getting like three nuggets per. Two there, two there. Three. Uh, one there. Two. One. Two. One. I thought we got three a couple of times as well. Oh, that's the... Yeah. Well, yeah, see, we, we smelted 30 iron and we got 46 nuggets, so... Definitely a much higher output. And that's it. It just did 38 ores in a couple of seconds. Well, a few seconds. But yeah, that's the Arcane Bellows. Mm, I wonder if we've got time for another research. Alright guys, well, that was pretty cool. We discovered the Arcane Bellows and the Axe of the Stream, which is incredible. So, that'll do for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. So I started recording the next episode of Thorncraft 3 and realized I only had one more research item left. And it didn't take very long to discover, so I decided to just tack it onto the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Kinda looks like he has ears. Hey guys, Baradus here and welcome back to Thorncraft 3. So in the last episode we got our Axe of the Stream discovered. Finally, I might add, we've been looking We've been looking for the Wand of Frost and that one for a long time. So in today's episode, I think Well, we're gonna do some more research. I'm hoping we discover this core because that's another one that's taken a long time to, well, to be discovered. We discovered all the other cores all... Bleh. We discovered the other cores all fairly quickly. So I'm going to try some... some Permutatio, some Aura, some Visum, some Victus. What else can we try? Maybe some cactus, some string, some bones, seeing as we've got a ton of them now. Let's try them. Nothing. Try the string. Nothing. Try the cactus. Nothing. Victus. Nothing. Visum. Nothing. Aura. Nothing. Permutatio. Ah, permutatio. Good old permutatio. Always there for us. Yes! Excellent. Golem animation core speed. That's the one we've been waiting for. So, it's an animation core for speed. So, what we want to try would possibly be not Aura, but Volato. No? Okay, that's good. I didn't want to have to go off to feathers anyway. Um, what else can we try then? What do our other cores contain? So intelligence was cognito, strength was potentia, perception was visum. So what would speed be under? Motus. Of course. Of course, Motus. Um, yeah, we'll just grab a stack of logs. I'll just get all these put away. Alright, Motus. Looks like a winner. Yep, here we go. Ah, ran out of boats. Come on, five more boats, that should be plenty. There we go. Alright, so you believe you will be able to modify the basic golem core, enabling you to create and control golems that are much faster than the norm. And the last thing we need is Imperato. 
or control. Uh, we're probably going to need to make some more levers, so we'll make them up first. Alright, get these in here. Do that research. There we go. Animation, Golem Animation Core Speed. Learn that one. Speedy Golems. You have cracked the methods required to supercharge a Golem Core with motive force. Any Golem created with this core will move and work much faster than others of its kind. So it's just a basic core and an air shard. So I don't think we're going to bother making one of them. It's pretty self-explanatory like the other cores were. I think that would be handy for a... Probably a straw golem. If you didn't need to use a perceptive one to increase its range, using a faster one would enable it to just you know, go break all the crops a lot quicker. That or possibly our worker golems that are carrying our items everywhere. Like these guys. Just to make them a little bit quicker on their feet. Yeah, alright, that's our core discovered. So, I don't think we've got anything else in the book that is greyed out now. Which might mean we've discovered everything. Except for the, of course, the um, knowledge fragments research. Yeah, although I would have liked to see more advanced golemancy stuff, maybe with a bow and arrow golem and stuff like that. I guess we'll just try some more generic items to see if we find anything. Though I don't think that'll be likely now. It seems like that would be the end of the you know, regular research items. Let's see. Grab some coal, grab some redstone. Put those away. Uh, grab some iron. Grab some lapis, some snow. Maybe a bit of... oh no, not the moss stone. Don't want to use the moss stone. Uh, some magic tallow. What else could we try? Zombie brains? No. Uh, potatoes? Chant books? No. Bows? No. Netherwart? Yeah, we'll give that a try. Give wheat a try. Give cactus a try. Carrots, seeds, grass, rotten flesh, mm, string, nah, gunpowder doesn't have anything special in it, maybe some gravel just for that sort of really basic elements and with dirt. Alright, let's do some research and see if we find anything. Well, that's pretty much every element that we've used to start off research before, and nothing. Uh, actually, there's one more we can try. Try some totems for Alienus. Try some leaves for the... What was it the... What's this one? Purus. No. Some alienus? Nope. Yeah, well, that's looking like it, guys. That's definitely looking like it. Quicksilver?
starting to look like the end of the line. Alright, I'll get these all put away and be back. Alright guys, well it looks like we haven't got any more research to do. Which means I think it's time we start looking towards some endgame. And if I grab my Thormonomicon back out... To me, that means it's time to go after a Nether Star, so that we can finally get our Wand of the Thaumaturge. So to get a Nether Star, we're going to have to kill the Wither. And if we want to do some aura manipulation as well, we're going to have to get two Nether Stars. So this is going to be interesting. So to start off with, I guess I'm going to... Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go to the nether and start killing wither skeletons. And start farming up some skulls. We'll need six in total. So I should probably try and get a looting sword, but I'm not going to worry about it. In all likelihood, the nether will kill me anyway, so let's just get in here and get this over with. One thing I will do, because... I can. I'm going to save my inventory and put us back in recipe mode just in case I die in some way that I feel is completely unfair because the nether is a bit of a bastard and it could happen. Oop, like it almost did just then. God damn it. Alright, I'll head out to the um, nether fortress and we can start hunting withers. Yeah, that's right. Little fire bat bastards. Oh, wait, is that an aura node? That is? I didn't know there were aura nodes in the nether. I suppose that makes sense. There should be aura nodes everywhere. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's a fire slime. Okay, well I guess I'm going to do some exploring and hopefully some killing. <laughs> 